boy. I mean, he, he didn't walk a straight line. I knew at a young age that he was fearless. Seminole. This is the street where uh, it all went down. Day one to current. Yeah, he skates out here every day, so I come I videotape him a little bit. I don't know. With Grant, you know, the stuff he saw was like ramps I had left over from benefits, and afterward I had nowhere to put the ramps, so I put them at the end of the street. Those are the ramps he would ride first, and he was super young, you know, he was around three. I didn't really know he was going to get into skating so much. Yeah, I mean, when he was a little kid, he really didn't say anything. He would just, like, beam you down and just fucking snake your ass and go. Board thrown everywhere and shit, like, he didn't give a fuck. I was a little sperm and pads getting in people's way. Skater's extreme, man. Like, all the footage you skate in there is insane. You're, like, five fully padded. I want something to drink. Cussing people out. I said I want something to drink. Do you have a hearing problem? Yeah. Even as a young child, I could see that nothing was going to stop him from jumping off the highest ledge at the playground. I told you one skateable. This little bump right here. Many hours logged right here on this little bump. Kind of set it up as a line. It was like, oh, hit the bump, jump the sewer, and then the flat bar right in front of the house. I pretty much take over this entire street. I don't know how old I was. I was really young. Of course, my sister and I don't have much of an interest in physically skateboarding. But we, we didn't know what we were doing. We were just like messing around and hanging out with him, just having fun. I didn't even expect him to, to be that into skateboarding, really. I just thought that it was a phase that he was just young and fucking around with the board. I mean, he held the camera every now and then, you know, I'm something I was like, hey, can you stand still for a second? And I don't remember this. Which is different than most father and son in the world, which is usually like, son, let's get the camera out and watch you kill yourself. You know, it wasn't really that way. We were trying to document, because back then, just having a camera was like, whoa, you know, we can actually do something with this thing. I did, Grant's dead. Skating around Atlanta with him all the time. We've always had ramps in the backyard and stuff like that. I swear he was born on the flat bottom. Back in the backyard before these condos were built, he had a ramp back there. And I just remember driving by and seeing these dudes fly out of the air. Yeah. 
even when we were just children, hanging out with Grant and just seeing what he can do on a daily basis when he's honestly like hardly even trying a lot of the times, it's just far and above. I was learning frontside flips. I did like a fucking 90 flip. Ran upstairs like, Dad, I learned frontside flips. Like, you got to see it. Like, yeah, keep it going. You're not even fucking waking me up for that shit. <laughs> I knew there was stuff in Florida he wanted to ride, and he had seen footage when I was coming home and showing it to the other guys. So. It was in Tampa in 1998, and I'm like skating this metal mini ramp with him, and I snaked him. I was like, who the fuck is this little punk? <laughs> it was fucking Grant. We gave Jeff Lenosi the cover of that mag. Grant got us something else. He's doing a frontside ollie. <laughs> little did I know that he would turn into such a big part of my life. Yeah, the Surf Expo is all the time, man. I'm surf Expo. The Surf Expo. Uh, the Surf Expo was this trade show that happened twice a year. A lot of beachy tourist brands. And then they always stuffed the skateboard scene in the corner, like in the earliest years. Do you remember uh, when you picked us up? I think it might have been at a trade show. And oh yeah, the minivan that was in, that was in Florida. There you go, get in. There's Grant, like coming along for the ride and checking it out, and like he just run up halfway up the tranny and get his speed up and you know kickflip fakey, and he'd get off the ramp and then snake pit <laughs> back on. This is real quick, bro. You know, I already had known that he was ripping and stuff, but the, it was the Surf Expo just where a lot of the guys would come together and just hang. Your guys approached us at the trade show that day when he was riding the vert ramp, and after that, never looking back. The evolution of Grant and Volcom was before sponsorship was even really a word. It was just like more family. It was like, we got you. It felt like a good family to go with, and we were right. It was solid. Always has been. Let's go. By the age of eight or nine, it was like, okay, we might want to address your talent. He was something that I was definitely knew that it was a little ahead of its time. Ryan Kingman was like, we don't run ads for kids alone. We only do like the Twigs ad for the Twigs team. I told Grant, he goes, I don't want to be on a little kid's team. And for almost a year, he had no board sponsor. The dude some Alien sent him some boards. I sent him those photos and he was like, this is sick, let's talk. I put him on the team and ran that ad. And uh, that was that. I think it became apparent that Grant was making a mark. You know, when he had like some legit surrounding of sponsors and we were getting great photos too. We gave him an ad and slap and a full pipe. It just looked, it felt right. It wasn't like some force like, oh, we got to do a kid's ad. This shot will do. It was more like, ah, that's cool. Like, that, that's a good ad right there. Grant was just filling in the next generation of what was already laid before him in the ATL scene. Shut like a house, huh? Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Soldier, fortune, a mercenary on beat. A merciless, I torture MC tie both of their feet. If they refuse to run the Jews, we beat the bottoms of feet. I'm talking grip plies, guys, to the top of your teeth. Hey, me and Jamie killed the competition, top of the heat. Is where we stand with their corpses resting under our feet. I sent they mom a little cash and a sympathy letter. Told her she raised a bunch of fuck boys. Next time, do better, bitch. It was right then when we started filming for Chichigoff. Grant had already been filming in ATL. We had this trip in Miami go down. It was like Westgate and Abdias and Angel and Chuck Clare and Colin. Chichigoff was like our first like, I think major trip that all of us were on together. Cause we would go on like random like surf expo and shit like that, little contests and stuff. But you know, we've always gotten along. It's been kind of my role dog forever. That was the beginning of everything. And that's when they all kind of like clicked as a, as a squad. They got some good stuff, and we had a good little section in, in Chichigop. I said it in the, the Chichigop video, it's like, you get two years. I think that skateboarders have a two-year window. Either you get good in those two years, or you eat chowder. But Grant comes from skateboard stock. His dad... Grant's upbringing is that his dad's kind of like legend in Atlanta that learned to skate still. The stratosphere, he, his whole life was fucking just grip tape. That he grew up around it. Used to see him skating around in front of the shop. Grant was doing work. He was putting in work. And I would see him around the neighborhood with like other kids his age. And you could just tell that he was so fucking serious about this shit. And there was just a lot of shooting going on around his scene. So he'd be getting some photos in the mags. And it was just a steady increase. 
It was just building and building and building, and it just never stopped. The next time you saw him, it was like, oh, Grant's a big kid now. You could just tell he had grown, he's got his strength, he was able to protect his melon from bouncing off the concrete. Basically, it was like, guess what? There's a new kid in town, maybe you've heard of him? And it was like all of those years of just skating janky ass crap. Finally, he was like given the keys to the world, traveling and touring with sponsors. He really fucking kicked it into gear. That's when it was like, like this dude is fucking gnarly. <laughs> Next scene, uh, it's like, God damn, dude. I mean, I don't know if anybody else is paying attention, but God damn, GT, hell. Everything was aligned for him at that point. He just had everything going. He was just like, had the right tours going on with the right people and the right projects and the right video parts and just pretty much came up and staked his claim. Just Grant just has the magic. That's it. You put a name like Grant Taylor, it's like, guess yeah. what? That's probably gonna be our skater of the year a couple years from now. Grant Taylor, skater of the year. Da da. Fuck you! ATU! ATU! Raw motherfucking Miller! Like, oh, we picked the right guy. Oh, I, we knew. I mean, I, it was a no-brainer. He just stepped it up, and it's like I said, if you're Skater of the Year, you're the full package. Grant's such a fucking hands-on kind of guy. It's the same as Cardiel. It's like Danny Way. No hesitation. No if ands, or buts. Get the fuck out of the way, or you're going to get run over. Well, all right. Come up from with this more story. Nothing can change with the same old plan. Get left hungry and
done, Troy. We hit it off right away since fucking we've been little ass kids. A great display of skateboarding by Grant. <laughs> I think it was the mayhem part, like we just kind of wanted to fuck shit up and that like we really got along through that. Constantly terrorizing everything in our way, skating or just mayhem. Partner in crime, like, <laughs> I don't know, get revved up together. We're like on the road all the time in all these crazy fucking places. They like to fly Felper out, Felper on the scene. Fucking pure shenanigans and just shit just going off all the time. Tagging, fucking yelling at somebody, and just ah, so rad. Just the pure raw power that dude has. And like, he can make a frontside 5-0 look like the most evil fucking thing ever. You're just like, oh my fuck. Like, that's how it's supposed to be done. But no, when I'm on the road with the Voltron boys, it's because, you know what, I'm a fan. And fan is short for fanatic. I'm a fucking skateboard super fan. I just love to see it done, and I love to see it done right. Fuck, dude, Grant Taylor, does anybody do it better than that? No. Staying on the road, hitting epic spots with the crew that you want to be riding with, especially. If we get the fucking Maka boys out there, it'll just be insane. Well, yeah, I heard the plan, and I didn't really know what was going on too much. They just filled the van with all of Grant's homies from ATL and flew them all out. I was like, damn, all right, this trip's going to be fucking gnarly. With the proper crew, and that just makes it all click. So, it doesn't matter if you got the right crew, you can go anywhere and have a good time.
anti-hero videos. You're like, where the fuck are these guys at and where are they going? And you're loading up barbecues and camera gear and fuck all this stuff to, to put on a raft to paddle across to this insane full pipe that's probably the biggest full pipe that's been ridden and shredding, it's insane. <laughs> like, when is that ever gonna happen? When are you gonna paddle a fucking boat to go skate something? You're not doing that. <laughs> Obviously don't know what we're fucking doing at the moment, which is lining shit up, getting your fucking ducks in order and hitting the road. I'd like to keep doing that as long as I fuck possibly can. This is 20 years on Volcom? I should have done this interview two years ago. 20 years on Volcom. 20 years, dude. <laughs> 20 years of GT on Volcom. Yeah, this had that beard for 20 years, the 20 year anniversary of that damn beard. I've had this ugly ass face for even <laughs> longer than that. 20 years. Pretty awesome. <laughs> and that's obviously where it took him today, you know? Fuck, I mean, look at what he's doing now. You can't fuck with him. GT's the fucking man. You're smart guy for taking care of this guy his whole fucking skate career because I feel like there's a lot of gnarly skaters out there that don't get taken care of but he's yeah. always been the baddest. 20 years it's because they picked the right guys that's what you got to do you got to pick the right fucking horse <laughs> some people skate at you Grant skates with you that's the whole fucking deal skate rats forever <laughs>